Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to burn an operating system. Okay, to burn an operating system you need a program called um, Image Burn and then you need the operating system file which is a ISO file which is usually an image file ISO right here. Uh, today I'm using Slack 6.1.2 which is a Linux operating system. Um, scale down into a small 200 megabyte size okay once you have your file and uh, once you download image burn you could download image burn by going to uh, google and typing image and then um, I don't like going to the official image burn website because it, it's, it, it's too confusing because I go here it's like where did I download it at there's all these different forms um, let's see, click here to download. Um, but I don't like that. So I just go to downloads, type in downloads, go to downloads.cnet.com and type in image burn. And download from there because their servers are fast. And you can probably download this in, I downloaded it like in five seconds. Um, their servers are pretty fast. Um, once you have downloaded and installed, you can go to image burn by clicking on it right here or wherever it is on your desktop. You're gonna there's all these different options you can do. You could write um you could you could write files like songs, um all kinds of things to disk. It's like a everything burner kinda universal. And then uh you're gonna wanna choose write image file to disk and you're gonna click it. And then you notice that right here it says uh, source. Please select, the f select a file. You're gonna browse for a file. Go to your desktop and search for this one or the thing that you downloaded, the operating system image file. Open it and you're basically ready to burn. Now I'm gonna pop in a CD right now so I can show you what it'll look like when it's gonna burn. Um, let me put in a CD right now into my DVD ROM. Um, let me find the CD. And when you pop in a blank DVD R, it will say device not ready, logic unit is in the process of becoming ready. Um, it's just basically recognizing the CD, getting all the information, and then it's going to say, right. When you do that, it'll basically write it to a disk, and there you go, you have your operating system on a CD. Um, you can use, then use the CD to, um, you know, install it on many computers as you want, and there you go. Hope you enjoyed my video. Um, more tutorials will be coming soon. Um, thanks for watching.